Hey there guys. So in this video, we're gonna be talking about something that might seem a little bit simple, but it actually trips a lot of people up. And you'll continue to see these type of problems really uh, all throughout um, chemistry class. And those are acid-base net ionic equations. Um, for one part of the AP test, you will be required to write net ionic equations. And I can almost guarantee you that there will be at least one or maybe more acid-based net ionic equations. Um, and also they show up on a lot of Mr. Thread's chemistry tests. So it's good to be familiar with how to write acid-based net ionic equations because they aren't as obvious as you might always think. And so for this video, we're going to be focusing on a couple of specific type of acid-based net ionic equations. The first is the strong, strong, and that is by far the most simple kind. Um, I mean, as we'll see, it's just really straightforward. And then there's the, the weak acid. Uh, strong base type of reaction uh, which is also pretty common um, and then we'll also we'll quickly take a look at, at um, a strong uh, acid and weak base reaction although those aren't really as um, common or typical and the methodology towards doing them isn't really as straightforward as with the strong strong or the weak acid and strong base and then last of all we're going to be taking a look at how to deal with polyprotic acids and that's like uh, phosphoric acid or um, sulfuric acid so we'll take a look at those four types uh, so let's go ahead and get started. So the first type that we're going to be looking at is the strong, strong. And like I was saying, this is the most straightforward of the reactions. And really, um, it doesn't really take much thinking to figure out how to do these. Uh, so let's do something simple like... And then we can, so we'll use a strong acid like hydrochloric acid. And then we'll just use a strong base um, like sodium hydroxide, really just two of the go-to uh, strong acid and strong base. And so you know that goes to sodium chloride and water. And that's the normal reaction. So if you're writing the nationic, one thing that you always want to do is keep place of your of the states of all of your reactants and products because that's really key to writing the net ionic. So of course the, the acid and the base are going to be aqueous because they're in solution. The sodium chloride is going to be also be aqueous because it is highly soluble. And then the water is going to be in a liquid state. So clearly it's the water we want to focus on in this equation. So the net ionic is really as simple as H plus plus OH minus goes to H2O. And then you can add on the states of each one. And that is the net ionic. So I mean, you can really see why that's going to be the simplest type um, of reaction you see because it is really very straightforward. The next type we're going to look at is a weak acid and strong base. And one thing that we're going to hold here is that the strong base, you have to, one thing that's very important is to check the amounts there are because we're going to look at the strong base being in excess because um, as a weak acid doesn't dissociate as readily as a strong acid would. 
having a strong base in excess is important for carrying out the reaction to completion. So for a weak acid, we can just say acidic acid, which um, has this formula. And then for our strong base, we can, again, just do sodium hydroxide. And so, right off the bat, you might not be able to really, um, it's really tempting to just go ahead and say that it goes to sodium, uh, acetate, and water, and then have your net ionic just be H plus OH, uh, goes to H2O like we did with our strong, strong. But you have to be careful here. Because this is a weak acid, on the left side of the net ionic, you have to keep the whole entire thing together. I mean, that's not, I mean, once you kind of like figure that out, it's not too hard to remember because you just got to remember that because weak acids don't dissociate as readily, you're going to want to keep it together. So then you can put the OH minus which I mean we know that um, sodium hydroxide is a strong base so we're gonna get the hydroxide ion and then you can form your H2O and this is probably the most important part then you also have to include your acetate ion um, so then you can go ahead and put your forms here and you have to put your acetate ion because although the state of it doesn't change, here it's part of the molecule as a whole, but because we have a strong base in excess, those hydroxide ions are going to pull off um, those hydrogen ions to create water and then leave the ion in a different state than before because it is separated. Then, really quickly, here, we can just do it on the bottom of this. We're just going to look at a strong acid and weak base example. And I say, um, and as I was saying earlier, these really aren't as straightforward as a weak acid strong base in which you can almost, when you can really just follow the rule of keeping the weak acid together on the left, and then putting the um, the anion uh, alone on the right. Strong base weak acids, uh, because the weak bases aren't always as straightforward as just having an OH, um, they can be a little more tricky sometimes, and you just kind of got to go off your intuition sometimes. And one example of that would be hydrochloric acid, so that's obviously a strong plus ammonia. And obviously this is tricky because you don't have your OH, so you might not know what to do. So you really just got to know that, that goes to form ammonium chloride. Um, and that's going to be aqueous. So um, with strong acid weak bases, it's a lot harder to really know what exactly is going to be formed, um, but they're not really as common, so um, if you're stressing about what's maybe going to be on the AP test, this probably is not going to be it. And then the final type of reaction we're going to look at is polyprotic acids. And polyprotic acids are acids that have more than one proton to give up. So, and the two examples we're going to be looking at are H3PO4, or phosphoric acid, and H2SO4. And this works out really well because phosphoric acid is a weak acid, while sulfuric acid is a strong acid. So, we're going to use phosphoric acid in our weak, in our weak, um, acid plus strong base reaction with a polyproduct. So earlier whenever we had a weak acid and strong base, you kept the, um, here, with the acetic acid, you kept it together on the left. 
So you're really just gonna do the same thing here. You're gonna keep it all together on the left. Plus, and then we'll just go with sodium hydroxide again. So sodium hydroxide. And then you put your OH minus here. But then one thing that's important, because it's a poly product and because the strong base is in excess, um, there's going to be enough OH ions here to tear off every last one of those uh, hydrogen ions. So you need to be sure to balance out your equation whenever you have a poly product um, acid and the base is in excess. So then that's going to go form three H2Os. And then you put the ion, of course, same as the other weak acid strong base right there. And that's your uh, weak acid and strong base. And then with sulfuric acid, that's going to be our strong acid and uh, strong base. So it's going to be our strong plus strong. So um, it's not as straightforward as with our other strong plus strong where we can just go ahead and make them form water and just disregard everything else. Because sulfuric acid is a strong acid, it's going to dissociate um, on the left side of the reaction. So you're going to get a hydrogen ion and you're going to get... Um, uh, so you're going to get a dissociated hydrosulfuric acid right here because you can just keep it all together like with phosphoric acid. So you have it together. And then we can go ahead and have our OH uh, right there. So with the H plus over here, and then OH, and we'll go ahead and say this is sodium hydroxide. What you have to remember is that this is a weak acid. So now it's almost as if we have a strong acid uh, and a weak acid combining with a strong base. So once again, you can just balance it out. Two OHs for because these are going to pull off these H pluses, and you're going to get a uh, two H two O plus. Uh, SO4 2 minus. So in that regard, it is very similar to the weak strong that we have right up here in which you're forming the water and you're getting that um, you're getting that anion just alone. But really the main distinction here is when you have a weak acid, you're, it stays together on the left. But whenever you have a strong acid and it's polyproduct, you have to dissociate one of the um, one of the hydrogen ions, uh, and that's basically everything you need to know about writing acid-base net ionic equations. I hope that helps you for the AP test and for Mr. Thread's uh, little chemistry quizzes. Thank you, and uh, if you have any suggestions, make sure to send it to the um, email linked in the info section below. Thank you.